Hello? There you are. Добро пожаловать. Welcome to Medvedev Taiga National Park, my friend. Not that we are friends, yet. I'm Hada Alena Hasavovna, but you can call me Alena. I'm your primary contact, so you and I will be friends in no time. I've put together this cross-disciplinary expedition to study the effects of climate change in this region. My team and I are scientists, not activists, so this isn't a political thing. We are only interested in data, verifiable facts. That said, the taiga is not the most hospitable place. Gathering data and assessing the animal population here is difficult enough in spring and summer, but in winter it becomes dangerous. Not just for us, but for the local wildlife. That's why we called you in. The professional. You have a reputation for being a humane but effective hunter. My kind of hunter, I hope. Before we get down to the nitty-gritty business, I can hear your stomach rumbling all the way here at base camp. Start by getting yourself some protein. I have hunted many deer, or at least I used to hunt them near your location. Look around for tracks. They should be plentiful. All right, guys. Welcome to Siberia. So this starts off quite a bit like Leighton Lake District did, but I went ahead and picked up this DLC for Siberia and decided I'd share it with you. Actually, so far this... I'm guessing they're going to have us run through this uh, tutorial, but wow, it's beautiful out here. I just want to try something different. A snowy region. I know I could do uh, Hirschfelgen or however it's pronounced, but I want to try something that I've never played before. So I literally just got this and um, what did it tell me? It told me to uh, locate some tracks, shoot an animal, harvest an animal. Let's just go ahead and shoot it first and then locate the tracks after the fact. So there we go. Let's try to get them right about there. Dropped him right where he stood. Nice clean kill. Reload. So on and so forth. Alright, let's see what this uh, map kind of looks like. I'm guessing it's going to be just about as big as the last map. Uh, it, maybe not quite as... Well, I don't know, it's, it is pretty big. Okay, maybe it is as big as Leighton Lake District. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. But that's the that's the region we're in. So let's go up here, harvest this deer, and go from there. Oh, the green really shows up. Yeah, the uh, track should show up a lot better, huh? Siberian musk deer. Yeah, now, now musk deer is a scent. That's a weird looking deer. Um, is one of the scents that I can actually buy straight away from the store. So it was one of the reasons why I chose this location. So let's examine the track. Accomplish that part. And then let's go ahead and harvest the animal. Alright, yep. Yeah. Flesh and right lung shot. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and accept it. Get some cash reward. If you're going to rest tonight, you need to find an outpost. And that means knowing where one is. You can only see so much from the ground. So unless you brought your rocket boots, you have to climb the nearest lookout point. I've marked the location on your hunter mate. No. So, we're going to run up here to the uh, to the outpost, and I'm pretty sure our ATVs will transfer over into this area as well, so no big deal, but this is just going to run us through the uh, obligatory tutorial. I, I don't know if every region has this or not, but uh, maybe just the downloadable content regions. She has a nicer voice to listen to than dock so liking that too I saw there's some links that run around here and they really blend in nicely they look really cool there's a what like wide open stretches of icy water like frozen water I don't know if they're rivers or lakes that I saw but uh, it looks pretty pretty cool so I'm looking forward to exploring all these different areas and bringing down some Russian game. Alright, so I'm going to holster that. Visit this lookout point. Earn some points. 
Some extra credit. There's some moose. I think there's brown, but yeah, there is brown bear in this. Moose, reindeer, musk, uh, deer, lynx, and I don't know if there's rabbits. There's probably rabbits running around here somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So here we go. Let's survey. New locations added to the map. We'll check those out. I'm sure one of them will be an outpost that we'll make our first base out of. So little update to the channel here. Let me check, out, check this out here. There it is. Lookout offers right up quite here. The view. From up here, you can see outposts, hunting grounds, and all the nature another you can feast your too. eyes on. Is that the only two? There's another lookout. So I think what we'll do is... Heck, I don't care. Let's let's go this way because it runs the across the lake. The outpost location is marked on your hunter mate. Go there now to rest, resupply, and take shelter. Okay. You may want to fix up the place. It hasn't seen much use since winter came. Now, I don't know if our skills are totally... Re they are. Or what? No, no, they're not. We continue right where we left off, so that's good. Um, group size, huh? So we got perks. Is that perks? Did I hit... I think I hit skills, didn't I? I need perks. Muscle memory. What else is this? Hold breath. Steady hands. That's probably better. Um, I can do this. Zeroing. Ah. Short range zero and long range zero. Or I can go straight over here to windage. So I can get the lateral wind direction speed. Interesting. Um. I can't make any adjustments there. It's just going to tell me which way the wind's blowing. So. I think I can judge distance better than I can wind. So I'm going to go with this one. Wait, what's this one up here? That's the breath control. Not really worried about rapid shots. I'd rather have accurate shots. Yeah, let's do this one. So I have to pick one. It's nice that my uh, character is carrying over from the last one. I still have the same amount of cash and experience points and levels and all that. So that's good. I'm not having to start completely from fresh. Or completely from scratch, I should say. Um, on channel update, I am... Uh, we actually have two houses now. Um... Our house, we're going to be moving out of this one uh, June 6th, so that'll be, right now it's, the, it's May 31st, so that'll be next Saturday. And we're going to have the movers come out. We have to be out by Monday. Um, and then, so we have to be out by the 8th. But the movers are going to come on the 6th, and we'll be moving into the new house then. Right now, the, the new house has actually been moved out of, so we've been over there a couple times, checked things out, got the lay of the land. I'm going to have to... Uh, get all the utilities, get all the stuff moved in, get everything settled in, of course, and, and of course, transfer stuff from this house to that house, what can be transferred as far as utilities and services and things like that. So I'm going to be pretty busy. Um, I'm guessing that there's going to be a time where I basically sort of go, I'm probably not going to have a whole lot of content for the month of June. I'm going to try to get out a few things tonight and maybe a couple things on my days off this week, ready to go. But uh, if you do see a, you know, a drop of content on the channel, it, don't worry. It's just it's just moving. And we'll get settled in, then we'll get back to the to the old routine. But yeah, we absolutely love it out there. So went out there, took the girls and the dog, and uh, tell you what, our our German Shepherd didn't know what to do with two acres versus being stuck in a basically a plat. So with some tiny yards, so she had an absolute ball out there. Okay, so, oh, this is nice. Look at the fog setting. This is so pretty. You can almost do, like, the long dark with this uh, sort of graphics here. Imagine some wolves coming out of the, uh, the tall grass or whatever this is over here. This vegetation. Maybe a bear. Oh, the, the fog is nice. What an awesome effect. Okay, well, first things first. It wants me to definitely get over here to this uh, outpost. So we're just going to run it there best I can. I would call in an ATV and just drive it, but you need to have an outpost to drop the ATV off at. So um, it looks like I will be able to call in out, uh, ATVs, though. 
So that'll make traveling and exploring and unlocking things a lot faster. Now, can I make it through here? I should be able to, right? I wonder, this is going to look awesome when I run through it and look back. It should all be trampled down. Let's take a look, see if I made a path. Nope, it sort of came up behind me. I'm kind of wishing that it had actually uh, dropped off behind me there. But we do get footprints and a nightlight, a headlamp. So nighttime end, begins at uh, 7 p.m. and ends at 9. So all that, the tracks definitely do glow. Now I was reading that the uh, headlamp does not spook the animals. It has no effect on your visibility to the animals. So no, no worries there. Now me running like I am obviously is going to scare off everything in the area. But I'm just trying to get past this tutorial stuff so we can start exploring this a little bit on our own here. So I was going to pick up Hunting Simulator 2, I think it is. Um, they got some pretty bad reviews. It said a real arcadey. I, I looked at some video of it. The shooting looked off. Uh, everything just looked a little bit off about it. I, I don't get it, but uh, not nearly as... I like it slow, a slow pace, you know, when it comes to a game like this. So let's claim this outpost. That's really cool. Smoke coming out of there. Nice. XP reward. You have arrived. Our outposts are no five-star hotels, but they beat sleeping outside. Once you fix the place, you can rest and resupply here anytime. Ha. Huh. This up here reminds me of uh, Alone Season 6. The moose meat. If any of you guys have seen that, I won't say any more of it. Now that you're comfortable, no ladders left out. As anyone can be out here, I need you to help one of the other team members, Gunther Baden. At the campsite in Rybatsky Bay. You might have an easier time calling it Fisherman's Bay. We so haven't this heard is from very, the blizzard very familiar. Week. His last mobile communication said he was low on food. Gear up to hunt deer. Bring hungry Gunther some fresh meat. All right. So we have a little bit of a mission. Oh, it's starting to snow. Check that out, huh? All right. Let's see what our uh, hunter mate has to say for us here. Harvest an animal. Alright, so let's go find an animal. And the question is, where's Gunther going to be? Is he going to be... Where's he going to be? Do we know? I could start hunting in towards that direction Gunther in general. Gunther Baden is our photographer. I tell you, he comes as highly recommended as you, but the truth is he comes very, very cheap. Gunther arrived about a week ago to set up remote cameras all across this region, Ledinoi Bay. He loaded up an ATV with plenty of supplies, but like I said, we haven't heard from him since the storm. It's normal for people to disappear for a few days in the taiga. But Gunther, unlike you, his resume grossly exaggerated his wilderness survival skills. He is more of a passionate amateur than a consummate professional. Thanks for hunting on his behalf. Gotcha. So he's a straight up liar that got himself into trouble. Roger that. All right, let's get going here. Um, I would take out uh, the ATV, but I think I'm just going to enjoy the the environment here a little bit first, and sort of stick to the stick to the mission. So let's just uh, go along here, see if we can. Um, you know, I might I might actually stick with the trail because I think this trail kind of goes goes pretty close there. Let's just stick with the trail and uh, just walk at a normal pace. Because as you see, walking's three. See, it's three, uh, or two red marks there on the audio. But if I go over here, it's just three regular white ones. So it's a little quieter. Now, let me see. If I turn off my light, yeah, it doesn't change my visibility level right now. So what we're looking for is we're going to be looking for tracks. Um, see if we can track something in or listen and see if we can bring something in. I should have got myself a... Uh, where was that at? A warning call from a wild boar. It's a female, so... I should have got myself some uh, musk. I don't know, maybe I sh You know what, let's do that. Let's get some musk lore. Musk deer lore. That's why I came here anyway, was to hunt some of those. And uh, I have the opportunity to grab some now, so let's do that. Then we'll head out into the dark. I don't know, they said that you can be... You can actually have blizzards in this. 
region, so kind of looking forward to that. Maybe I just wait till daytime too. I mean, could do that. Oh, it's nice. That music's nice. I like that. So let's go here to store down to cents. Should have the musk deer. There we go for 1500. So it's uh, 300 seconds. The range is just over 218 yards and uh, attraction strength is 50. So it'll bring in both male and female musk deer and it lasts longer than calls. So let's go and buy that. And in collars, I did want to buy one of these antler rattlers. I know it's 6,000, but we can use it on all deer. So is there antlers clashing? So it says deer and antelope, follow deer, reindeer, caribou, lesser kudu, Jim's buck, black buck. doesn't say anything about... Yeah, I can't even use this on those deer. I need to unlock this, but I'm not even close to being the right level. Oh, that's for white deer, black deer. I wonder if they have any other... That's a red deer. Goose collar, boar collar. Maybe the antler collar works. We can try it and see what happens. 6,000 though. I kind of want to save my money. <sighs> now oh, what the heck. We're going to buy it eventually. Might as well just get it now. Okay. I don't know. They, we have moose here too, so I can, maybe I could call on a moose as well. All right, and you know what? I am going to wait for daytime. Uh, I gotta go around the other side. Oh, here's the door. There it is. Okay. Let's uh, let's stay in here for the night. That is a nice setup. They really left us nice. Yeah, this is this is decent. All right, and I look at that bearskin blanket right there. So let's go ahead and rest until, let's wake up about, oh, let's go with uh, about 5.30. Cost 250, which is nominal. So there we go. Go outside. Okay, there we go. Close it. I'm going to turn off the light. Don't need it anymore. The sunrise coming up. Not used to my character not complaining about how cold it is all the time. All right, so now we're off. Oh wait, did I equip it? I don't think I equipped it. Probably need to do that first. I'm about 99% sure I didn't do that. Uh, Where's our, there it is, inventory, here we go. A shotgun's probably not a bad idea, given what we're running into out here. I would rather have something more than buckshot, but that's okay. Bleak color. How are we doing on capacity? Oh, we can carry a little bit more. So let's take the antler collar. I don't think I need the bleak collar. Oh, I could, can I take all of them? Okay, might as well take all of them. Yeah, looks good. And we got ourselves the uh, tree stand here. Let me double check, make sure I do have that in my inventory here. Well, I found some tracks. That. There it is. Okay. Let's go back to the rifle. And let's get going, guys. All right. Morning, day two. Got a bunch of tracks around this area. So let's take a look at them, see what we got. See if we can't bring one down. Wild boar. Are these going to be all wild boar? Let me check these other green ones here. The boar population is out of control right now. They eat up all the fungus and lichen in the area, and unlike most animals, boars can be very aggressive. Harvesting them is in many ways a public service. Well, is there a boar collar that I can get? I think that there... I know that there is one. I just don't know if I can buy it yet or not. might be worth it because it seems like they're pretty abundant in this area. So let's check that out here. Uh, oh, I hear one right there. Wild boar collar. Oh, we're close. We need 13. 
Uh, wild boar scent, 33. All right, so he called out. He's over that way somewhere. So I don't really have a way to call him in. What I can do is I can maybe creep up on him here. He's probably with, oh, there's some, I see a track over there. Some sort of a track. It's not very far. Let's move a little bit slower through here. Quieter. And you know what we should get on? To begin with, there we go. Some scent eliminator, there we go. It's probably ne needed. Creeping look real slow. I don't know. This might be a nice opportunity. Overlook, overlooking a decent region. Let's check this out. See what we got. Wild boar fresh. Okay. See some more over here. I'm tracking the purple, obviously. It's going from sort of this. I hear something moving. It's over here. There it is. It's a deer. It's a buck of some kind. There he is. He's wandering away. Is he stuck? Elk. Dang it. A, that's a shoulder shot, unfortunately. He's hurt. I don't know if it penetrated. Looks like a decent amount of blood. Well, that'll do for our food. It looks like a shoulder shot to me. Like a bone shot. So, we'll see. Here in a second if an organ was hit. Hopefully. If I had an organ hit just now, good. Okay, well. There's no need to chase it and scare it ahead of us. So that's a reindeer. I thought it was an elk. I shouldn't. Oh, it dropped right here. Wow. I thought that was way too far forward on the body. I wanted to shoot a little bit further back, but apparently that was a good shot. Yeah. Look how wide open it is down there. I really like this. This area is really nice. Oh, so I did hit the scapula. Okay. That's what I was afraid of. Flesh, right scapula, right lung. I was afraid it was going to end right there and not make it to the lung. But it worked out good. Gunter for a while. If he's not grateful, I will smack him. So we just got 4,500 for that animal? Is that correct? Did I read that correct? I think so. So that was decent. All right. I will admit I'm worried about Gunter. Even with all the trouble he's making for you and me, nobody deserves to starve or... Well, anyway, you'll find him at a campsite in the area I've marked on your hunter mate. Stay safe out there. That's kind of where I thought he might be. So let's head over this way and find his camp. Um, I guess we'll just get rid of this marker. Let me get rid of it if I can. Maybe. There we go. Remove. Okay, I had to click off of it. All right, let's just get back on the uh, trail and walk over to him. Okay, so here we go. Dimitri, Demi, Pushkin. Hello, friend. This is Demi P. from Federal Echo Service. You have time for an easy job. Uh, not right now. Let's see what else he's got to say. Yeah, we can take it, but then we'll go back for the uh, Taiga meetup. So we'll, we'll take that one. Harvest some musk deer. Um, yeah, let's head on back here and let's lock back into the primary objective for Alina. Alright, not too bad. I was thinking about taking a shot at the at the neck. Um, but then he moved forward on me and gave me that shot to the uh the torso area there, so I went ahead and went for it. I didn't notice the wind direction though. Is it on there? I'm sure it is. I just Where's the wind direction? Or the speed? Isn't there something I'm supposed to... Is it through the... Uh, probably through the binoculars, isn't it? 
Maybe it's through range finders. Might be through the range finders, which I don't have yet. Now let's go ahead and reload here. Oh, that's a nice... Some nice woodwork there. Alright, what the heck. Let's just move forward. We're looking to accomplish our mission. Oh, we got a bear running from us, right in front of us. Did you see him? There he goes. That was uh, a little bit bigger than a black bear, I'd say. That looked like a brown bear to me. So, apparently, this isn't like the Hunter Classic where you get credit for tracking three... Uh, three tracks that are the same uh, it doesn't level up your tracking that way so that was just sort of a carryover from the previous generation game and that I was that I was trying to use but apparently that doesn't matter so I'm gonna not worry about that so much I'd rather see the bear run away from me than towards me right so what do we got here wild boar. They are abundant. Yes, they are. We got some snow moving in? Oh, okay. Well, let's keep running here. I guess this is where his camp is, so I'm just going to run straight to it. Brown bear. Warning call. It's female. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, male. Male. Keep getting my male and female signs flip flopped. For some reason. I don't know why. I could use colors too. Blue, right, boy? Pink, girl? I think I'd be good to go, but for some reason. Just go rushing through this. Well, I thought that was a dead body. I was going to search him. And first. This is some thick stuff right here. Let's go see if we can find Gunter. And we'll hit this little uh, landmark question mark thing over here. On our way. More tracks over here to the... Oh, hunting structure located. Alright, let's go check out whatever this is over here as well. Bear tracks. There we go. Female. Look, I'm learning. Some sort of a feed area of some kind. Always good to have this information. I think we got it on our map now, don't we? What is this? Landmark. Oh, no, it's a landmark. All right, let's go unlock it. I think we get some experience points for it. In the summer, or many small lakes, is a marsh blanketed by mosquitoes. Lucky for you, this is a winter expedition where you would eat, sleep, breathe mosquitoes while you're here. No kidding. It's the same for Alaska. So, very, very similar. So this is already built, huh? Oh, okay. I like that. Let's go check it out see what it looks like on the inside. That's kind of cool. Ooh. It's going to be a warning call. Yep. She's not too happy with my presence. What do we got here? This looks very Spartan. All right. Definitely a good, uh, a good vantage point of this frozen lake. Let me out. There we go. All right, let's run up here. Maybe he was attacked by bear. Oh, we got... We got rabbits. What, sapiens? I 
Siberian. Ah, oh, musk deer. There it is. See, it has a rabbit symbol. That's so weird. Homo sapiens and it's a rabbit. But uh, I guess we're going to probably have to track down Gunter. I'm like... Uh-oh. This is where the was camping. Looks like he's all out of supplies. I told him. Leave food uncovered in this wilderness. The bears will steal it. They're hungry this year. Take a look at the Gunter. People leave tracks like any other animals. Okay. Uh, I don't think that bear's going to come after me anymore. Huh. Well, that definitely felt like the long dark. She's yammering in my ear and I'm meanwhile well trying to like save my life. Can I go inside? No. Oh, what do we got here? Another one? I didn't mean to reload, but we'll get another shot on him. I think that one missed. All right, let's go hunt some. Let's go grab these bear real quick. Is there any more coming? Jeez. All right, let's grab one and search, and then we'll come back and get the other one. We definitely got some hits. Find the oh yeah, here we go. Vital organ. Okay. Uh, purple. Yeah, this is the one we want to go chase down. blood and poop Siberian musk deer calling out this one probably isn't too far up here there he is pretty sure I got the other one too yep so we got a bear Whew. that was self defense more than anything female left lung I hit her a few more times obviously <laughs> but this is the main one I could have probably just left it at that and not screwed up the meat so bad but how much points we get for this and a little XP a little cash all right we'll take it let's go back and find another one another one around here somewhere we just gotta look for the blood it's is this incoming route going okay it's probably well, it could be this one, too. Let's head back and find the blood. Then we'll be on the right track. See blood anywhere, guys? Looking for it. check that way but I want to find my bear that I shot over here she came scooting through here somewhere All right I don't think it was over this far was it no that's incoming what's this eh, that's footprints I think it's probably gonna be these let's see here No blood splatter. Or blood splatter. No organs hit. Okay, well, this might last. Take a minute. That's creepy. I swear I'm about to get jumped by the bear. About this blood. Bleed rate right, very low. Okay. It's going to take a while to drop. I see some blood up here, I think. Something. Poop? Yeah, it's poop. Which way do you have me going now? Okay, some more blood.
Yeah, it's gonna take a minute. Well, if she wants to get her revenge, now would be the time. And this heavy, dense stuff. Yeah, with this sl slow bleed rate, I almost think I should, I'm better off going back and... We'll see what happens if it opens up here. I think it might open up a little bit for us here. There's some up here. I'm good on ammo. Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna move slow here. Now that we're in a little bit more wide open territory. She's walking now. That's good. So much easier when you just hit him in the vitals to begin with. Felt like the uh, second one was actually a better shot than the first one. Of course, that first one was just sort of like straight on, and I was just basically going center mass, hoping to get it away from me, to get it to turn off. I wasn't really thinking so much about critical hits. I was just trying to get it off of me as fast as possible. Come on. Oh. Try not to go crackling through the trees too much. She's going into another district, isn't she? Some more blood. She's still bleeding. I just need the opportunity to see ahead. She keeps trotting. Ah, oh boy. Let's see how long we have to go after this one. I think I landed two shots on her. me crossing into a new district. Wait, I see you right in front of me. I should have probably like tried to edge my way around the side, but I'm just trying to get damage into the into some organs there. Slow her down a lot more. Every shot's gonna slow her down a little bit more. I probably should have tried to go around, but as, as good as their hearing is, I uh, just, you know, you never know. We'll see what the blood says up here. That's that's not where she was at. She's up further. I was hoping she went off that way, but looks like she jetted this way. Some more blood. No organs hit. Seriously? There it is. Down. Okay. 
Apparently, it got some organs eventually. I just want to see what, what it looks like. Uh, as far as my shots, I think I hit her like two to three times. Four times make it. Jeez, poor poor thing. So, the last one was... Really? Just that? All flesh shots. That one hurt. Oh, man. Tailbone. She's having a hard time getting around. So, that was not a very good... Uh, yeah, that was not a very good kill right there. All right, let's head on back. Let's go track some Homo sapien tracks here. Oh, we got definitely we definitely have plenty of food for him now. Let's track down Gunther. I love going from district to district. The music's just like so epic. It makes me <laughs> makes me feel like I just unlocked a secret scroll or something. Like saved a princess or something. I don't know. Vanquished a dragon. Really, all I did was just travel a little bit this way or that way. It wasn't too crazy. Probably should have my rifle out. This seems like it's a highway for bear. At first, I thought this was a bear scat. I'm like, oh my gosh. What did you eat? Okay. Gunther, where are you? Alright, back where we started here. Wait, what the hell? Something's coming. Not again. Gotta take him, man. It, it, this is a highway for bear. They just literally run through here. That first one, I don't know how good of a shot it was. Uh, blood looks medium sized. Yeah, medium. Yeah, it's gonna be low. It's gonna be low. Come on, let me let me click on it. No vital organ. Okay, fine. Run. It's a male, at least. And we're just gonna chase him through the bushes again. That's wonderful. Jeez. How freaking scary would this be in real life? I might actually let him run for a while and then come back for him. Not that, uh... Hey, we might come out here. He might be walking across this frozen lake if he went up here and went to the right. Uh, very well might have. So, as much as they like to run across this lake. So, we'll see. I, do, I think I do see some pink over here on the lake. There is pink. Now, is that incoming tracks, or did he actually come through here? Waiting to see if I see him moving. I got a pretty good vantage point. So, the only way he... If he went left, that would be the only way I wouldn't see him, but... We'll come back and track on that here in a minute. Let's do Gunther, though, for the time being. Bingo. There's Gunther. He must be out hunting. Follow those tracks, and be careful he doesn't shoot you by mistake. Huh. You're a dead shot. He's a dumb shot, okay? Well, there is Gunther's hunting blind, but where is Gunther? I don't know, but let's go ahead and uh, level up here. We've got a skill point. Okay. Nice. Enough of this wild moose chase. There is another campsite to the west. Gunther may have abandoned the last camp when the storm hit. If he's not there, the only other possibility is that he is lost in the tiger. Oh, approximate health when investigating blood trails. That sounds really good. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. Okay, this one it, like decreases visibility in foggy weather, which is kind of nice around here. It seems like it's foggy a lot. But let's head on over this way. They're saying we need to go this way. And maybe we'll come back and check on this, de or this bear that just sort of popped out in front of me. Reached out to you. He's my American archaeologist friend, a major geek studying the history of Tiger peoples. Nidal is not, shall we say, rugged like American archaeologists in the movies, but you are. So, lend my friend Nidal a hand when you can. 
help him chronicle the rich history of this place before time erases it. Nidal is generous. He will reward your effort. Alright. Well, we're going to be passing right past our camp. I might just grab an ATV and take it the remainder. Rather than try to run a half mile here. Honestly, I feel like I should have the rifle out. Actually, you know what? I think I am going to do that. Let's go to reload. I might get charged by one of these bear, too. It is possible. So. I can just go straight there or go down here and then over. I think I'm just going to go straight. I'm just going to run it. Wow, this is a nice little area right here. You can sit up here, perched up here, and watch the... Uh, Watch the riverbed here. Nice. There's probably some good... Uh, oh, there, I bet you there's some good places for tree stands right here. Whew. This might be lovely. Yeah, I like it. Let's see if there's anything out on the actual river. I'm going to look. Might be better across the river, too. Might be something a little bit better. Just a tree that's sort of right on the edge. It's high. It's a good vantage point to all the surroundings. The nice thing is you can see behind you pretty well, too, because there's not a whole lot of foliage. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hmm. If I could get a tree, like, right on this point right here, sticking up, that's what I'd be putting it on. I'll just have to keep my eyes open. As it stands now, there's some good options. There is. I think my favorite's probably, I'd have to look at it, but I think maybe this one right here. That might not be too bad. You get a good, not so great view to the left, looking out towards the river, but man, to the right. See for days and days. Put a tent right down there too, so you can spawn in. Let's go straight up there. Warning call. So they got a bear up here somewhere. Yeah, it might have been the one I shot too. It's a good possibility. Okay, let's keep trucking. We got a mission to accomplish here. I think the way that those uh, reeds just sort of drew in, they kind of looked like an animal at first, and then they sort of filled themselves in. This river is amazing. That's lots of noise. It's like driving an ATV right there. <laughs> Almost there. About 300 yards away. Helps to be an extreme athlete when you're hunting in this game, apparently. At least while I'm at the controls. What do we got here? It's probably a bear. The fun thing about this game is it really brings out some of the skills that I've developed playing the, the long dark. So there we go. Musk deer. 
They said that they're elusive, so it makes me kind of want to hunt them even more. Heck, you know, you could just put a, uh, a blind right out in the middle of the water. Uh, or on the ice there. And, uh... Okay, there. <laughs> Had a little disc emergency. I'm back now. Ran out of space on my recording disc. Completely forget that, you know, you gotta, like, you know, delete old videos and things like that that have already been published. So when I sit down, I want to play. I don't want to think about all that noise. Anyway, speaking of noise, let's go crashing through these bushes here. Oh, get out of my way. And go rescue Gunther. I thought I lost maybe all the footage up to this point, but it looks like it recorded okay, so hopefully so. If not, we're looking for Gunther. And this is just sort of like the start tutorial missions for this new map. Hopefully everything worked out okay, though. Got a couple bear so far and a uh, reindeer. Oh, he's got another little spot set up here, doesn't he? What's a note? Is there anything there that might tell us where he is? What does a Durak mean? Okay. Yeah, there's a note. Elena, I am beginning to regret staying on this expedition. My hunter mate broke when I crashed my ATV. Oh, then a store came. I immediately and came, and came. Calling Gunther a Durak, even though he made some terribly foolish mistakes. Now he's sick and he's out there all alone, and who knows what he's getting up to. We need to find him. All right. If she'll let me complete this, I'll read the note to you. I know we were supposed to ration our food. What the? F That's got to be the. That sounds like a reindeer, but it's it's in pain. Oh no, Gunther was sick, starving, and a terrible shot. What if he wounded an animal without killing it, or left a trap on the wrong trail? Please find this reindeer and tell me I'm wrong. All right. Well, I would read that note to you, but apparently I'm supposed to leave. Immediately here. So, I have a feeling me making a lot of noises is going to make a difference. It's probably right around the corner here, isn't it? I have a feeling it's going to be laying down. Well, I'll let you guys pause the video back there and... read whatever the note said, but uh, apparently he was hungry and went out hunting. And now he's got like a injured reindeer. I'm trying to be careful about here. No point in making it run away if I can avoid that. Is this it standing right here? It looks like it. Facing me? Yes. Alright, I think that was it. Hopefully. Hopefully there wasn't a... The injured one wasn't standing next to it and it just sort of hobbled off into the trees. I don't think so. I think we're good. Let's see what we got here. Let me grab some... Let's see if I can get the... Tr the examine track. There we go. Vital organ. Yep. Okay, confirm trophy. Oh, a heart shot. That was a good one. Okay, dropped it right away. Doesn't the show any Gunther shots. Thank you. I've had to report the incident to the state veterinary and phytosanitary service. The local director, Dimi Pushkin, asked for your info, and being a state representative, I had to give it to him. Dimi may hit you up for jobs from time to time. I don't want you to get distracted, but keeping the state happy makes life easier for our expedition, so don't ignore him. Yes. Can't have the can't have the government upset at you. All right. The caliber of the bullet in that reindeer matches Gunther's rifle. That's not conclusive, but if Gunther is out there with a firearm, we have to find him before more animals get hurt, or before he hurts himself. Do you see anything around his campsite that would give us a lead? All right, we'll head right over here. 
back to his we'll get back tracking this one here and let's uh head on back here see if we can find anything might tell us where Gunther is took the note so maybe more footprints yeah that looks like what we're looking for here those look like Gunther's boot prints let's find him did you go back across the uh, river looks like maybe you did this must be the river where Gunther found that mask deer Looks like his tracks follow the riverbank, probably to collect the mask deer meat. I hope this isn't a dead end. Sorry, poor choice of words. Gunther isn't the only one desperate for a meal out here. The rivers flooded during the warmest spring on record last year. Then out of nowhere, the temperature dropped, and in a flash, the rivers froze early. It's too bad bears can't ice fish. All right. It's like nothing but carnage out here. Bad, 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 very bad. There is no blood, no wounds, which means this musk deer probably died from disease or poison. If this is where Gunther was shopping for meat, he's in worse trouble than we thought. Careful. This happened in another province exactly like this. Don't freak out, but that time it was anthrax. Oh, okay, as long as it wasn't smallpox. temperature stays below zero. You don't touch these dead animals, and you don't eat the snow. That Durak Gunther probably made all these mistakes. There are more footprints right. to follow. What's a Durak? My stomach is sinking just thinking about what you'll encounter at the end of the trail. Be careful. And Gunther's a big boy. 340 to 437? 437 pounds? Goodness gracious. That tent belonged to Gunther. Can you read the note he left? I'll try. Are you going to interrupt me? GB log. Day two. Breath equals painful. Chest on fire. Burning hot. Freezing cold. More fever. That's not good. More dead deer. Camp or recover. This is a punch in the gut. Reindeer rot. Meat bad. Murder. Can't Gunther breathe. Contaminated musk deer Help me. And died with symptoms that are associated with anthrax. Rest in peace, Gunther. So, I promise the rest of this expedition will not be so... Grotesque is the word, though. I spoke with Pushkin over at the Federal Department. A hazmat team is en route to clean up that riverbank as soon as the weather permits. All right, well, I was not expecting this from the hunter. <laughs> We're searching for monitoring sites scattered throughout this region. Anthrax terrorists. Anatoly Barnyashev wants you to check on those to make sure this anthrax contamination didn't spread. The areas where you will find these sites are marked on your hunter, mate. Okay. So, it looks like I might need to take this mission that just popped up. Let me check here. Um, anthrax alert. Check in on three weather stations. You can do that. Let's, um... Biological contamination. Harvest a musk deer with undamaged lungs. Oh, man. So you want me to headshot it, huh? Musk deer. Okay, I'm going to go stick with anthrax alert and work through this. And then maybe we'll hit double back here on these side missions a little bit. So let's track this one. Oops. Let's track that one. Uh, three weather stations. Oh, they're right here. Okay, cool. Let's go do that, do that real quick. Where are they at? No, I probably need to put markers down since there's more than one. Okay, let's do that. There we go. We should unlock a, another landmark here. One of these question marks up here. So, Gunther died, huh? Interesting. It's a very musty here. Oh, I could, could sort of take out... Well, that's a warning call. Probably isn't going to let me very close. Let's, let's stick, stay on track here with the mission for the time being. I 
heard some hoof steps pitter pattering around over there. Wow, this is way more interesting than uh, Leighton Lake District. Anthrax contamination. Makes me not really want to eat the meat that I'm hunting <laughs> at all. So supply issue is more dire than we thought. Weather pound in the coast. We will need to head south and east to return to base camp. Okay. spot either. These lakes are great. These frozen lakes are amazing. But no time to mess about. It's a natural occurrence in Medvieta Taiga these days. The permafrost, the icy layer just below the ground you're standing on, melts more and more every summer. And when it thaws, it lets out all kind of things that have been frozen and dormant for years and years. Things like fossils. Things like anthrax. I always thought anthrax was developed in a lab. Apparently not. Apparently it's just naturally occurring. How freaking scary is that? Alright, well we made it here. Where do I need to go to check? Do I need to walk around here and look at the box? There we go. This area is anthrax free. Thank you. There are two more of these stations in the area. How can I tell that by a weather station? I don't get that. Okay, let's head over here. Oh, a lynx. Finally. I was about to say, I, I, I'm not sure if lynx are in this area or not. Apparently they are. That was an interesting call. So if we see anything out here on the lake wondering about. Still calling out, huh? seeing much out here. Probably scared it all away come running in like I did. That's alright. Let's see how this one is. Another clean test. Nice. No anthrax. These are very good results. Okay, let's go this way.
Oh, we got some something out here. I'm really I need to calm my breath down here. Oh, okay, so there's a male reindeer out there somewhere. I'm gonna put on some musk scent. Musk scent here. See if I can get into a good position here. They're moving away. I would take the shot, but it's going to be such a weak hit. All right, maybe I can creep up on them. We'll see. I'll uh, get this objective first and then see what we're supposed to do. If it's like, kill a reindeer, I'll be like, I'm on it, boss. But I don't have any calls or scents or anything like that to bring them in with. So, wait, maybe I do. Hold on, hold on. I have the antler things, don't I? Uh, let me see here. I do this. I need to put it in my lures. Antler rattler. Let's put that down here at number nine. And um, we can put this one down here at zero. There we go. Weapons. You know what? Let's throw our uh, shotgun right here. Ammo. Put some buckshot right there. How about that? There we go. Let's see if we can get some antler stuff going on here. I don't know if that's going to have an effect or not. Probably not since they're in a heightened state of yo. What classic show is that from? Huh? State of yo? Some of you guys with AARP cards would be like, know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe not. We probably won't be able to bring them in. I think they got spooked away, but it's all right. There will be others, folks. There will be others. Water monitoring station tests clean for anthrax. Thank you for being so professional, despite, well, you know, infectious diseases and all that grim stuff. Frankly, I'm surprised you're able to handle such nasty business and stay so calm. You may be a person of few words, but your actions speak to your good character. Anatoly is like my number two at base camp. He may pester you for help here and there, but I trust he won't take advantage of you. All right, leveled up again. All right, guys, I think we're going to uh, report wild boar in the area stand by. They overgrazed the land to the west, and now they're migrating here. Unfortunately, they'll disrupt the musk deer's grazing and attract hungry lynxes. Thin the boar pack down by a few heads. That should create enough pressure to push them back home. Okay, let's do that. All right, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. This is a, an amazing region to uh, explore, and the missions are actually pretty interesting. So I'm looking forward to see what happen, seeing what happens in the next uh, episode. I want to go ahead and I think I'm going to go ahead and record it right now. And uh, thank you, thank you again. I do really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. Y'all take care.